for checking out my channel. I was just wanting to show how I had the Martian 2 uh, frame wired up for the Ombius F4 Pro. Um, currently, you know, of course, I have my motors and ESCs hooked up to this uh, power distribution board right here that is, um, what well, has doesn't have a voltage regulator on it or anything. Um, I have uh, two, uh, the power wire and the uh, ground wire ran um, to the main uh, um, XTC uh, um, XT60 connector here, and then how uh, how I'm going to wire the flight controller is I'm going to have um, uh, here's our ground wire to the flight controller. Um, I'm going to have to have another power wire that goes to the battery uh, from the flight controller uh, and uh, this right here is going to be the uh, output uh, through the current sensor on the, the uh, F4 Pro board. Um, um, also in the front I have a positive and negative uh, lead that's directly to the uh, uh, power distribution board into a uh, 12 volt regulator uh, and then I've got my uh, connector um, out to my VTX and my camera right here and then these are going to be my video wires uh, that are going to go to uh, the flight controller um, have a little light board in the back and then I have right here is my uh, XM plus free sky receiver um, Alrighty, uh, I'll try to get different videos as the process goes along, uh, just so you can see how I've got it uh, wired up, and uh, and you know it's it does make it a little bit difficult to have the uh, current sensor on the flight controller. Um, you do have to run out a little bit of extra power wire and figure out how to manage it and get as less. Uh, um, wire in there as possible in order to help save a little weight that 12 gauge wire is um, um, a little bit on the heavy side so all right so I've got the um, flight controller motor soldered in and FPV video in and out uh, I've got my extra wire right here. Uh, this is going to go to my battery. Um, this wire is going to actually come down onto the uh, power out to the PDB. Um, uh, yeah, there's not much I've done other than put the flight controller in with the motors and wired the first power wire up. Uh, comes from the battery right here and this one's it right here on the back side um, now I'm going to solder the um, PDB to flight controller power I guess you call it I don't know that will be the next step so just showing um, uh, where I'm at This is my uh, Martian 2 build, uh, just trying to get um, a, to show uh, everyone what, um, what my Martian build looks like with the um, Ombius F4 Pro. Um, so you've got your, uh, your aliens. A, it, well, it's the same concepts with the alien, you'll be able to use this, but uh, <clears throat> so if we get a little close up here. So I got my battery connector coming out right here at the normal spot, but if you look, I've got uh, the main battery lead coming from up under the flight controller and back over to the top right here. Um, and then the um, um, from here from here I've got going down into the exact uh, sp the normal battery 
uh, connector spot, uh, XT60 slot. And then I've got the ground wire coming straight up to the uh, battery lead, <clears throat> uh, the XT60. Um, got my camera in there just to kind of, uh, you know, give us uh, an easy motion around um, the, uh, the quad here in order to, you know, there might be something that I don't point out that you may see that will be helpful. And if you'll notice right here, this stuff that you see right here is the black tape. So I didn't use the um, the plastic plate that comes with it because I wanted the quad to be a little bit stronger. Uh, so I actually cut out carbon fiber um, from another bottom plate from this Martian. Um, uh, and, and then I put the black tape to put in between it to keep it from shorting out. Um, on the camera, I did have to do some modification to that back plate in order not to be touching the plug. I guess I could have showed that a little bit, but I've already got it in there. Um, and I did put some uh, vibration dampening uh, here, um, double-sided tape. Uh, but I didn't tape it to it. That's why it's still red. It's the covering there. Uh, of course, this is for my uh, VTX. Got my buzzer out here. Uh, I got an XM uh, XM Plus here has two antennas or a uh, diversity. I've got one coming out the back like this, and then I've got my other one uh, tied to the arm there with uh, some tape, and it goes around and comes in right there. Um, I do have um, uh, uh, shrink uh, tubing around it in order to keep it uh, a little bit away off of the carbon. Um, I don't know how well that works uh, with it being so close to the carbon, uh, but I've had great success with my um, real ACC X210 doing that exact same way, so I assume I would stick to it. All right, so let's just get the quad all together and then we'll take a a, uh, I'm a trip around it just so you can see um, uh, how clean it looks with it uh, with the top and the battery mounted to it. Um, also, you'll notice here that I only use the video wires um, for the uh, video and VTX. Uh, I just use the uh, I use a uh, Polo or Pulu, however you pronounce it, and it's taped down right here on the other side um, to give me my 12 volt uh, uh, for my BTX and camera to keep from uh, voltage spikes. And this is with it all, uh, the battery <clears throat> and the run cam and the top and all that plate still on there, uh, already on there, all together, ready to fly, except for the props, obviously. Uh, just trying to give a little slow uh, turn around, just to kind of see if there's anything that would uh, possibly help you out. <clears throat> uh, of course, if you have any questions on how I have it wired up, I'll be more than happy to answer them in the comments. Um, didn't point it out, but back here in the back, that is my buzzer uh, tied, uh, just taped down on top of the uh, receiver. I have lights in the back. <clears throat> FT FMV antenna.
Alrighty, well thank you so much for uh, checking out my channel and if you, um, like I said, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment. Uh, if you do like this video, if you please hit the like button and also if you enjoy this type of content, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.